Hi, Mrs. Hewitt's fourth grade class. I'm very sorry that I cannot be with you this morning. I have sick kids, so I have to be home with them. But I'm going to be with you through video, and I'm going to tell you all the same things that I would have told you if I had been there with you this morning. Also, you're going to have some things to do on my big campus today to let me know that you've learned some things and give you a chance to talk to me. I want to hear from you and I want to know how technology helps you learn or if you feel like it doesn't help you learn, I want to hear about that too. So, I hope you're ready to pay attention and if you have questions, you'll feel free to ask them in that discussion at the end on my big campus. So listen up. Here we go. When you first go to mybigcampus.com, you're going to need to log in. And it's very important that you click the login button, not the sign up button. We've already given you an account, so you don't have to sign up. We just need to log in. So we're going to click on login. Your username is the same one that you normally use at school. It should be your last name and your first initial. And your password is the same too. For you, it should be your uh, lunch number, your student ID number. Um, but here's the tricky box. This is where you need to put in your school. And mine says Southwest Park because I work for all of our schools, but yours should say Montezuma Elementary. So you'll start typing Montezuma into that box and a list is going to come up and you have to make sure you choose the right one. Make sure you choose Montezuma Elementary School in Montezuma, Indiana. And once you've selected that and all three boxes are filled in, you can click Log In. Now, you don't want to use this box, this Remember Me box, because that will keep you logged into My Big Campus. And if somebody else goes to use your computer later on, they'll be logged in under your username. So it's very important that you don't check this box. Next year, when you have your own computer and you're the only one who uses it, you could check this box but you need to remember that you are responsible for your account and if somebody logs into my big campus or gets on your account and does bad things that's still going to come back on you so probably always a good idea to just log out every time and log back in every time so we're going to click log in we're going to wait for the page to load all right, when you first log into My Big Campus, this is the page that you're going to see. I'm going to tell you a couple things that you always want to do first off when you log in. One is to check your notifications. Right up here in the top, there's this little thing that looks like a sign. And right now, I don't have any notifications. But if I did, there'd be a number right here next to it. If you're on Facebook, you get notifications there too. Um, it's just a number that tells you that something new has been posted that you need to pay attention to. So I'm going to click on that and see my notifications. And you can see these are all just things that have posted in groups that I'm a member of. Hey, there's Mrs. McMullen. Um, so you can click on one of those things. We'll see what Mrs. McMullen posted. You can click on one of those and it'll take you straight to um, whatever it was that she posted. Notifications are really important. You should check that every time you log in to My Big Campus. Okay. Now in some other videos, I'm going to talk to you about what these things are over here. But I'm going to get back to our home page first. This box that comes up when you first log in um, is just like a status update on Facebook. It's a place where you would say something like, I can't wait for our field trip on Friday, or Mrs. Hewitt is the best teacher ever. That's the kind of stuff you could post here. You don't want to post anything that you're trying to tell your teacher because they probably will never see it. So in another video, I'll show you where to go to communicate with your teachers um, and to post a question to them or something like that. But this is just a status update box. You're probably not going to use it very often, only for some quick little thing. Just remember that most people will not see what you type into this box. Okay, one last thing. I'm going to show you how to log out and then we'll go on to another video. You click this little person with the gear up here, and then at the very bottom it says log out, and we're back to our login screen. Watch the next video to learn more about My Big Campus.